Antarctica, with an area of 13.2 million square kilometers, the icy world is the fifth largest continent on our globe. Located in the southern polar circle, the thermometer drops to extreme values of up to minus 70 degrees Celsius inland. As a result of this biting cold, Antarctica hosts about 90% of the global freshwater ice sheet. At the same time, it contains about 70% of the total freshwater reserves. Although the land and sea areas around the South Pole are always among the most extreme regions that our Earth has to offer, they've always had an unbroken appeal for researchers, adventurers, and discoverers. And indeed, scientists have already managed to make some amazing discoveries in Antarctica. But as is so often the case, the biggest secrets are hidden beneath the surface. But what is actually hidden under the mighty Antarctica ice sheet? Together with you, we go on a search for clues today. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more great videos. Also, stick around until the end to hear about a chilling discovery that you'll want to see to believe. Hidden Water Worlds with its imposing dimensions, Lake Vostok is one of the most impressive bodies of water that our blue home planet has to offer. Accordingly, the freshwater lake extends over a length of 250 kilometers, is 50 kilometers wide, and 1.2 kilometers deep in places. Despite this, the existence of these massive water masses could only be confirmed in 1996, which is because Lake Vostok is hidden deep under the mighty the Antarctic ice sheet. In fact, the subglacial lake is at a depth of 3,700 to 4,100 meters. The fact that this hidden water world has not frozen despite an average temperature of minus 3 degrees Celsius is thanks to the immense pressure that prevails under the icy surface. There's no question that Lake Vostok is an extremely dramatic habitat. Given the extremely cold water temperature and being in complete darkness, it seems inconceivable that life was able to flourish here, but that's not true. In truth, Lake Vostok is home to an astonishingly large variety of species. Scientific analysis of frozen water samples revealed the genomes of thousands of different organisms. Most of them are bacteria, but fungi have also been found in the hidden lake. Particularly exciting, during their analysis, the experts also came across the DNA of parasites. This circumstance indicates that the isolated body of water is inhabited by higher creatures. In addition to sea anemones and worms, this could also include crabs and possibly even fish. Anyone who thinks that Lake Vostok is a spectacular isolated case is mistaken. So far, more than 370 subglacial lakes have been identified in Antarctica. However, how many bodies of water are really hiding under the eternal ice? The future will have to show. Bizarre Life Forms some sensational finds happen completely unexpectedly. When an international team of researchers drilled into the Antarctic to take sediment samples, the lowered camera caught something purely unbelievable. The images, which were taken at a depth of 900 meters, show grotesque creatures that have made themselves comfortable on a mighty boulder. It hasn't been clarified yet in detail what the found life forms are. However, the experts assume that we're dealing with at least two different types of sponge. These multicellular marine animals display some typical behaviors. Sponges are unable to move independently to search for food. In order to provide themselves with the nutrients they need to survive, they have to filter them out of the surrounding water. And this is exactly what makes the discovery in the Antarctic depths so extraordinary. Because how can such special organisms, given the lack of food, manage to survive permanently in the freezing cold waters under the ice sheet? In fact, 
prior to the exciting discovery, the existence of sedentary life forms under such conditions was thought to be simply impossible. As amazing as the find is, it still poses great mysteries. The food particles that sponges normally eat can be formed quite close to the surface through photosynthesis. However, in the remote region where the creatures were tracked, this is not possible. Even more, the researchers assume that the nearest source of photosynthesis is up to 1,500 kilometers away. How the life forms manage to survive despite this and what they feed on is therefore completely unclear. The simple sponges show us an amazing way how far the limits of life can actually be stretched. A little patience is required until we've revealed the background to this sensation. There's currently no suitable technology that could be used to take samples from the creatures. However, the discovered sponges may only be the tiny tip of a gigantic iceberg. The area laying dormant under the Antarctic ice shelf is more than one and a half million square kilometers. What people have seen of it so far corresponds to the size of a tennis court. Evidence of a Parallel World From the secluded depths back to the icy surface, NASA has been conducting the so-called ANITA experiment in Antarctica for several years. The project serves to study cosmic neutrinos. These are electrically neutral elementary particles with a very low mass. The researchers are looking in detail at the radio pulses that are generated by the interaction between the neutrinos and the Antarctic ice sheet. This is accomplished by modern radio antennas placed on balloons that hover around 37 kilometers above the surface. In the course of their experiments, the researchers finally came across a phenomenon that they simply cannot explain. What was initially dismissed as simple background noise turned out to be a sensational discovery on closer inspection. Normally, the neutrinos coming from space fall like cosmic showers on the Earth's surface. However, the elementary particles identified in Antarctica exhibit an inverted pattern of movement. They appear to be rising out of the ground. In fact, these unexpected properties cannot be reconciled with any model of physics known to us. Because of this astonishing fact, some experts put forward an almost unbelievable thesis. The particles may have their origins in a parallel universe in which everything works in reverse. This means up is down, left is right, and time would also run backwards from our point of view. Another explanation is based on the assumption that the neutrinos changed into other particles during their journey, which changed their direction. However, the probability of such a scenario is almost zero. The inexplicable discovery may be due to an incorrect measurement of the complex instruments. However, such a neutrino was not only observed once, but several times and over a longer period of time. Mysterious Abyss The year is 1970 when satellite images of Antarctica reveal a gigantic hole in the dense ice sheet. The puzzling thing, as soon as summer came, the gaping abyss disappeared from the ice sheet of Lake Lazarev. The background of this structure was like an unsolved mystery in the following decades, before it reappeared in 2017 as if by magic. To understand just how gigantic this mystery is in the truest sense of the word, consider that the rift occupied an area of 9,500 square kilometers. This time, the researchers did not want to miss the opportunity. An international team of scientists immediately began to examine the natural spectacle with the help of satellites and measurements. The evaluation of the study now suggests that the enormous abyss is the result of Antarctic storms. Accordingly, a violent cyclone raged over the ice, which pushed away the underlying ice masses. What's both amazing and frightening for us could even have a great advantage for the animals living there. The newly created access to the water also opens up new hunting opportunities. In the long term, however, such phenomena can pose a major threat to the climate. Such large holes in the ice sheet lead, among other things, to the fact that the exchange of energy between the sea and the atmosphere is extremely increased. This circumstance could affect not only the local but also the global climate. Fossil Forests 
More than 260 million years ago, the frosty Antarctica looked like a flourishing green forest landscape. At least, that's what the ancient fossils that researchers discovered in the perpetual ice a few years ago suggest. In the past, the entire continent was significantly warmer and wetter than it is today. Thus, today's icy landscape once hosted a dense network of some hardy plant species resembling those we find in Siberia today. At that time, in the so-called Permian, Antarctica was still part of the Gondwana supercontinent. This huge landmass also included what is now South America, Africa, Australia, India, and the Arabian Peninsula. The conditions with which the creatures of the time were confronted can confidently be described as extreme. In the ice-capped south, eternal winters alternated with never-ending summers, while the north groaned under a sweltering heat. Although the primeval animals managed to defy these adverse conditions, a mass extinction of unprecedented proportions occurred about 252 million years ago. 70% of land animals and 90% of sea creatures fell victim to this drastic development. The greatest mass extinction in Earth's history is believed to have originated in a volcanic eruption in what is now Siberia and paved the way for the era of dinosaurs. The forest fossils discovered in the Antarctic therefore give the researchers an authentic insight into days long past. The remains of microorganisms and fungi were also preserved in the petrified wood. Studying these ancient relics should help clear up some unanswered questions. How did the plants manage to withstand the extreme conditions back then? After all, the corresponding regions were close to their current latitudes. And why did some plants fall victim to the mass extinction and others not? We can't wait to see what exciting insights the researchers will gather in this regard. Radioactive Stones when we think of the Antarctic, images of vast and icy landscapes, gigantic glaciers, and freezing cold seas immediately come to mind. Did you know, however, that there's an incredibly hot spring below the massive ice cover which melts the ice above? This discovery was made by several researchers from the British Antarctic Surveys in 2018. Within their study, the experts reported that the immense heat underground caused an approximately 5,000 square kilometer ice sheet to drift further and further below. The experts came to this conclusion when they located huge subglacial lakes on their radars, which are located several kilometers below the Antarctic surface. The researchers were particularly astonished at the fact that an ice surface five times the size of Berlin had suddenly completely disappeared. But what origin could this natural melting process be based on? If you follow the theories of scientists, it's most likely radioactive stones that drive this process. The hot spring could have been fueling the process for many thousands or even millions of years. The experts assume that numerous other as yet undiscovered geothermal heat sources are hidden beneath the ice. However, the resulting ice melt is also associated with devastating consequences. The occurrence of melted ice below the icy crust could ultimately make the area much more susceptible to the manifestations of global warming. At the same time, the additional water causes a steady rise in sea levels, which is currently around 0.6 millimeters per year, and the trend is rising. In fact, the continent's annual ice loss has tripled within a few years. In detail, the Antarctic loses around 220 billion tons of its natural ice deposits every year. For most scientists, this is evidence that the world is warming on a global scale. However, for naysayers, this may be nothing more than evidence that the global temperatures are simply shifting once again, though admittedly, this would be taking place at an alarming rate of speed. When we take into account that Antarctica was once a beautiful tropical rainforest, it makes sense that over time it may become a rainforest once again. However, for those who believe this theory, there's one particular obstacle that's difficult to overcome. We have to remember that Antarctica was once attached to other continents and would have likely been located much farther north than it is today. 
As the continent began to drift towards the southern pole, it makes sense that it would have frozen over. However, this too is just a theory. In reality, we don't know for sure what would have caused the continent to freeze. This is what makes the discussion so fascinating. Many scientists believe they have an excellent understanding of the world around them. However, we do have to keep in mind that much of what we claim to know about our natural world is nothing more than a theory. More often than not, the scientific ideas that are shared around are based on educated guesswork. At the end of the day, we don't know for sure when Antarctica would have been a rainforest, why it could have cooled off, or when it may warm up once again. This is a rather unpopular opinion in the world of science. However, the truth is, your guess is as good as anyone else's. Alright folks, now it's your turn. What do you think of the amazing finds that have already been made in Antarctica? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Please also give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Finally, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel which you can access by clicking on one of the pics in the credits right now. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.